Hi, I'm John Gilstrap, author of the Jonathan Grave Thriller series, and in this episode of A Writer's View, we're going to talk about movie deals. If you're in this business long enough, sooner or later, someone representing themselves as a movie producer is going to come up to you and offer you or talk to you about adapting your literary property, whether it's a book or a short story. We're going to talk to you about adapting your literary property into film or television. Uh, that's always a fun day. It's always very complimentary. People jump up and down. They go and they tell all their friends. But I hate to put water on that hot fire, but understand that the chances of that happening, of coming to fruition, uh, going from the early talks to actually have, having a movie, are relatively small. But obviously, if it happens, it's going to be a big deal. So let's talk about what the deal points are in, uh, in, a, in, in a film deal. You'll be offered either an option or an outright purchase of your literary property. In an option, the producer is paying you a negotiated sum of money to have exclusive rights to shop your literary property around to bigger money producers who will then get the movie made. If in fact, and, and that'll be for like three years, again a negotiated amount of time, if at the end of the option period they're able to find somebody to, uh, to take the project on, well that's good news for you. Uh, if they're not, able to find somebody, then those rights revert back to you at the end of the option period, which normally includes an extra option period that the producer has to pay for. Um, for example, if it's a three-year option, which is not unusual, if it's a three-year option uh, for X amount of money, it'll usually be built into the contract that at the end of the three-year period, that producer can re-option it for another negotiated amount of money, generally for half the time of the first period, which in the case of three years would be a year and a half on the back end of the option. Generally, you are not in a position to say no to that second re-up on, on the option. So as a practical matter, a three-year option turns out to be a four and a half year option. But if they never make the movie, you've still gotten paid, you get to keep that money, and then the rights revert back to you so that you can maybe sell it to a, another producer down the road. In the case of an outright purchase, which was the case with um, my first two uh, movie deals, which was for Nathan's Run and At All Costs, uh, those were outright purchases, which come for more money than options, typically, uh, but those rights are gone. Those, those films were never made, and those producers own those rights through forever and throughout the universe. That's actually the contract language, forever and throughout the universe. Um, so they'll never come back. So the downside of an outright purchase is you don't see the rights back if the movie's not made. The upside of it is usually it comes with a, a bigger paycheck. So how are the payments structured? You will read, if you read the trades for um, like Hollywood Reporter or Variety, you'll see a movie deal announced in two parts. They'll say like 250 against 525, which would be $250,000 against $525,000. What that means is on signing, and again, I'm making the numbers up here. There are no industry norms. That's why you negotiate. Uh, but that initial number of $250,000 is what the author of the literary property gets on the day of signing, and, and that's his forever. So if the movie is made, usually on the first day of principal photography, which is the, the, the filming of the principal actors, as opposed to B-roll or background film or whatever, but on the first day of principal photography, the author of the literary property is paid the balance between the 250 and the 525, which if I do my math right, would be an extra $275,000. So if the movie is never made, then the author never sees that back-end money. That's what it's called, is back-end money. Um, you'll also see in a classic uh, movie contract uh, 
that the, there will be deal points on the end, there will be profit points that say that um, in addition to the front end and the back end of the initial payment, you will also get X percent of the movie's profit. Folks, you will never see that money. And here's why. It's, it's a fluke of the law that studios are able to write off losses on, on failing movies against the profits of successful movies. So as a practical matter, when it comes to the accounting, successful movies, the most successful movies, never make any profit at all. So in negotiating a movie pro uh, project or a movie deal, remember that money you get up front that first number in the deal, the 250 against 525, or it could be 10 against 100, or you know, whatever that number is, that first number is likely the only money that you will ever see out of the deal and negotiate accordingly. If you are writing a series, be especially cautious because it's, it's classic in these movie contracts that the studio or the producer who buys the, the rights to that one book that stars a series character gets the rights to that character, the film rights for that character, forever and throughout the universe. So if be really careful in, in signing that document that if, if a producer never gets the movie made and the rights for the book revert back to you, it's entirely possible that the rights to the character will not revert back to you even if it's a um, even if, if, if it's an option deal. If you find yourself in serious talks about a movie deal, listen to me. Get yourself an attorney or an agent. This is not something you want to screw around with. The, um, the language in these contracts is tricky. It's, uh, it's very specific to the movie industry. A lot of uh, literary agents I know, book agents, are not comfortable themselves dealing with uh, movie contracts. So if you're lucky enough to find yourself in that position, then uh, get yourself an attorney just to uh, save yourself some heartache on the back end. All right, if you want to have more information on writing or if you want to read the details of my own uh, first movie deal or kind of entertaining, uh, please go to my website, johngillstrap.com, and click on the, the Essays button, and you'll see all kinds of stuff ab ab about movies and about queries and about all uh, various elements of the writing business. And if you enjoy these movies, or if you enjoy the <laughs> movies, if you enjoy these, uh, these episodes of A Writer's View, please subscribe to my channel. Um, it means a lot to me, and uh, I hope you enjoy what you find out here. So, until next time, please take care of yourselves. Please keep reading. I'm John Gilstrap.